Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another beauty video today, which I'm super excited about. Just excuse this, I'm not really sure why it's happening. I've got like a rash that just broke out. I'm hoping it's not because of this foundation I just used. Itchy as hell. I have finally got the opportunity to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I actually got this second hand of someone who did not like it. Even after all the bad reviews and everyone kind of hating on this palette, I'm still convinced that I can make it work. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Not a lot of people have been able to make it work, but I just, these colors are so stunning. I've already done the rest of my face completely, which may or may not be an issue considering the amount of times people have said the kickback and the fallout is really bad. <sighs> so I may fuck up my foundation, but I can always fix it after. There's not really much else to say. This video is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm gonna just jump right in. I'm gonna zoom you guys in first. I've got no tan on at the moment, so I'm super duper pale, so. That's the thing. To start, I'm gonna go in with the shade Dawn, which is this shade right here, just because I'm starting to crease a little bit underneath my eye, and I really would prefer if I weren't. Ooh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> she is a little powdery, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I don't, I'm not too fussed if a palette has a bit of kickback or is really fragile, like it doesn't really, freak me out at all, like I think I can still holy shit I just stuck this whole thing in my eyeball. I think people maybe just struggle with the colour selection because they are quite grungy colours. So I just put that shade Dawn underneath my eyes and blend that out a little bit I really like this shade actually, it comes out more of a warm brown than it looks in the pan when you actually put it on, which I quite enjoy. And now I'm going to take that same shade, but on a flat shader brush, and I'm going to apply that all... Jesus Christ, she's pigmented. Look at that. I'm just applying that all over the lid. So far, not really any fallout. And I'm going to blend it into my crease as well, because it looks like actually... I just threw up in my mouth. It actually feels like it would be a good transition shade. I feel like it's so dark in here, but if I turn this up too much, there we go. I feel like that's better. So much better. Okay, I feel like I can see. But so far, I have no issues with this palette, guys. It feels fine to me. We're going to take a little bit of that Dawn color again, but on a fluffy brush and just blend that out up here. Up her. It, it, it does have quite a bit of kickback, though, which is fine. I really don't give a shit. Like, as long as the colors work... On my face, I really don't care if it's a little bit dusty in the palette, like, it don't matter. Still going with that Dawn palette, ugh, Dawn palette, with that Dawn shade. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Roxy, which is this shade right here. It's a little bit more orangey, I suppose. I'm going to run that through my crease and see how we go with that. I'm gonna take just a smaller fluffy brush with that one and just blend that up into the crease. Oh wow. I don't know what people are whinging about. I really like this. They are very delicate. Like they are soft pressed shadows, super, super delicate in the pan. But right now these are blending out really nice. I feel like when people see bad reviews online, even though you don't want to feel biased, like as soon as you see a bad review, I feel like something happens in your brain where it sets you up to have the same opinion, I guess. I'm always gentle with all of my palettes anyway, so having pressed shadows this delicate is really not a big deal for me because I'm always super light-handed. That is stunning. I feel like my camera and my ring light like diffuses the color, like washes it out to make it not as pigmented on camera. I think these colors are blending out super nice. You do literally need the tiniest bit of product on your brush. But this is working fine for me. I'm gonna take the same Roxy shade and put it on the bottom lash line, blending her out. Same on the other side. Who else has these faces when they put eyeshadow on? 
Hey. I'm going to take the shade Fudge right here and put that on, on my lid. I'm going to put that on my entire lid and then blend it up. I want to go for just like a smoky brown look, really. I'm not doing anything too hectic. I'm going to take a flat shader brush. I've literally had no fallout. Take a fluffy brush I was using before and just blend that out. And then go back in, put down some more color and blend out again. Okay, this shade, I'm having a little bit of trouble blending out. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that Dawn shade on a pointed fluffy brush and blend out the line. Which I feel has worked nicely. Just keep patting it on and then blending it out. But still, I've had no fallout whatsoever. Nothing, and I'm using the one of the darkest colors in the sh in the palette, and it's not giving me any issues. I really like how this is turning out. To be fair, that one fudge shade is a little harder to blend out. It just takes a little bit extra time, like not a big deal at all. Amazing. So now I'm just gonna do the same with this eye. Alrighty. Well, shit. I'm really loving this look. I think just to make it a little bit more darker toward the lash line, I'm going to take this color right here called Rowdy, a deep brown purple. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush that I used with that fudge shade, and I'm gonna put it just really close to the lash line. That would be the darkest color in this palette, and still, no fallout whatsoever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush, that same flat shader brush, but just use the very tip and put it on the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to use dabbing motions to begin with and chuck it all the way across my bottom lash line. And always remember to connect it to the top lid. Then I'm going to just take a little pencil brush and blend that out a bit. I feel like I definitely need a darker lip. Now all I'm going to do is an inner corner highlight and call it a day. I'm just going to use the highlight that I already have on, which is the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collaboration highlight. And I'm just going to apply that. I feel like my eyes are going funny. This eye, like my actual whites of my eye, looks like it's going purple. I'm going to Google that. It's all good guys, I googled it and I'm not dying so we're okay. Great news. Anyway, I'm just going to apply the highlight to my inner corners. Okay, so my frigging camera overheated and I needed to turn it off for a little while. So while it did that and stopped having a little bitch fit, I decided to do my mascara, change my lip colour and I ended up landing on the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Invasion. So all in all, I would have to say that I am currently hooked on this palette. I don't really know why so many people had so many issues with it. Um, I had not really any issues at all. Like it took a little bit longer to blend out that FUD shade and yes, there is kick kickback, but as long as you're gentle with it, then you'll be fine. Like they're soft pressed shadows. You're meant to be super gentle with them. So. Just be gentle with it. It's like a little baby. It can't take too much pressure. I'm in love with this palette. Like it is stunning and I'm so glad that I now am the proud owner of the ABH subculture palette. This was the final look. I didn't even have one bit of fallout. Like not one. I was really worried that I was gonna have to clean up my foundation and concealer after doing my eyes, but no problems here. No problems here. I don't really know what any anyone was um, whinging about when it came to this palette, but anyway, each to their own. Some things just don't work for other people and that's just the way life goes. Me personally, I would recommend this palette. I don't see anything wrong with it really at all. It's so nice. Like I love 
this look and I love these shadows. They're so pigmented. They blend out so perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you all give this palette a try. Doesn't matter what other reviews say. Give it a try and see it for yourself. Do leave a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys.